I'm very excited about uh, today's review. It's the Swedish folk tales. Um, the book itself, in terms of the quality of the production, it's nothing much to look at, but I'm very, very excited to show you the contents. These are Swedish folk tales illustrated by John Bauer. Um, these are tales that were uh, compiled in the uh, in the first very early years of the 20th century, um, I guess uh, 1907 to 1915, and John Bauer uh, was commissioned to draw the illustrations for them. <clears throat> the illustrations, as you can see, are, are very modern uh, looking, but they have that, uh, that turn of the century quality, which you know by now I'm a big fan of. Um, so yeah, in terms of the book itself, the uh, let's get that out of the way. The f the cover is just a, uh, a regular board bound with, uh, with with a plastic film. Uh, the spine is nothing to look at. Uh, it's just hand hand written font, white on black, uh, with uh, one of the illustrations from inside on the back. And a few um, a few quotations. There we go. So yeah, as I say, the book itself not nothing much to look at. Now let's have a look at some of those illustrations. <clears throat> I'll um, I will warn you straight away. These are not stories for children. Um, you probably know that I rather like some. Um, darker fairy tales. Um, the, uh, the, the grim fairy tales particularly appeal to me. Uh, these are way darker. Um, they, they deal with death and kidnapping and uh, forced marriages and so on and so forth. It's, it's, it's pretty grim, <laughs> but it is, it's, it's just a real treasure. Um, in terms of the prose, which is very, very beautifully um, written, but also these illustrations. Have a look at sort of the detail here. really like the composition in these illustrations. You'll see that there's very often a, a, a symmetrical um, yeah, composition. Um, look at that. It's just really, really beautiful. And then the more you focus in, the more you can see the details the subdued colors which um which which may just bring out the actually which which underline the darkness of some of these tales there are there are a lot of illustrations not on every page but on on most pages This is an archetypal <laughs> image that we uh, that we might recognise from from um, from Snow White, of course. Although it's not the tale of Snow White. Look at how 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 grim this picture looks. Very frightening.
the quality of the prints um, well they they they're very good actually um, some people have been complaining about uh, about how they can they can seem a little a little blurry um, I think that actually given the uh, given the technologies that were available at the at the time uh, some of them have actually been blown up uh, to a larger size and so obviously you're going to see a little bit more of the uh, of the grain on those um, but I, I have absolutely no tro no problem with um, with with the quality of these of these prints it looks absolutely fine to my eye Show you a couple more just because they're such a joy. Fantastic. Yeah, it's a big book of them. <laughs> so I, I strongly, strongly recommend this edition, um, if not necessarily this edition, uh, this this collection, although I don't know that you can find them nowadays in any other edition than this one. Um, it's, uh, it's certainly worth the cover price. A really, yeah, food for the imagination. Um, there are a total of, let's have a look, 237 pages. A little biography of John Bauer at the, at the back there. There we are. So that is Swedish Folk Tales, illustrated by John Bauer. Strongly, strongly recommended. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video. I, I'll see you soon.